Hi guys, in this video I'll show you an easy way to cut uh, jars or uh, bottles into rings or cylinders that you can use in kiln form glassware uh, or other art uh, glassware. I uh, hope you find it interesting. This is the end of a, a coffee jar, a coffee jar like this. And uh, I'm just going to cut uh, a little bit off the end of it. So this is a, a saucepan full of water just coming up to the boil and uh, this water is uh, cold water out of the tap. So what I'm looking to do is not uh, thermally shock this but thermally stress it. Um, I'm going to get it uh, warm. Now you might be able to see that that's, that has broken on the, uh, the cut line, it's not completely gone through. So uh, this might drop off next time I put it into here. Right, so there's a, a beautiful clean cut. There is the, the little ring, and uh, I'll get you a close up of that. So that's the little jar I've just cut, and uh, you can see if you know anything about cutting uh, glass, look how cleanly that edge has uh, has broken. So there's just a little bit of cleaning up with the stone is needed. Uh, this is a, a port bottle uh, that I cut in half to make myself a little um, uh, pencil holder and uh, just a bit of fun. And what I'll do is uh, I'm going to cut uh, a ring off, uh, off there. So oh, that's the, uh, the end of the bottle.
I can see that's cracked now. There you go, look at that, that's beautiful clean edge. Tiny, tiny little mark on the, that one, a little high there. But if you've ever done this sort of thing, you'll know uh, it's very, very difficult to, uh, to get a clean break. But that, as you see, there's no fluke to it, and that is uh, it's, it's thermal stress rather than thermal shock. Um, you can see some of the problems with this. Look at the difference in thickness of the glass. There, it's very, very thick there compared to the thickness there. Uh, these are the last uh, two cuts that I performed. So uh, that's uh, there. I, I don't know another way of being able to cut a, a piece of glass like this uh, without uh, without breaking it. And as you see, it leaves such a, uh, a beautiful edge. You know, if you start hitting these things to, to break them, you, you wind up with a, a, a shattered edge or a very uneven edge. Um, but uh, uh, And that's the other one. And when you cut a bottle like this, um, that joint is absolutely waterproof. Um, uh, if you put it back together, I'll fill the bottle and put the top on, and uh, um, when you lift it, <laughs> the water comes out. Um, but uh, I'm interested in kiln formed glass, and uh, uh, rings like that will be uh, very, uh, very interesting to play with. And um, uh, you know, you could make people all sorts of dreadful Christmas presents, couldn't you? If <laughs> Stuff like this. As I come to edit this video, I realised I hadn't uh, shown you the first cut, uh, cutting the bottle in half. But uh, this is uh, a hexagonal uh, um, jar that I uh, cut the uh, the lid off. So that's interesting. Um, but I uh, I managed to crack uh, that part, which was a shame. But uh, anyway, you can see you can cut some complicated things. Uh, yeah, I was going to cut a bottle in half, but I thought um, you've probably got the idea already. Um, anyway guys, uh, if you found that interesting, uh, leave a comment and let me know, because uh, I like to know what folks uh, think. Um, and if I don't get back to you, it won't because I'm not interested or ignoring you, it's simply uh, I'm not getting on very well with this new Google Plus uh, arrangement at the minute, but hopefully I'll get to grips with it, or it'll get better. So, um, thanks for watching guys, bye bye.